And this is a day in the word with Minister William Ryan. I pray that the word today will enrich your lives. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will do something great and mighty in your lives from today. God bless you. The topic is work as unto the Lord. Galatians 6, 9, it says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Galatians 3.23 And whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. Now many of us have jobs and we're doing things that we really are not happy with. Um, many of us wish that we were doing something else. We're not fulfilled in what we are doing. And um, the thing is that as we work, whatever it is that you're doing, we have to do it as unto God and not as unto man. See, you're not looking to man to promote you. You're not looking to man to, to pat you on the back. Do not accept uh, pay for work not rendered. If you're being paid for a day's work, then do a day's work. <clears throat> okay? And um, let the Lord bless you. Be faithful in whatever you're doing. And God is going to bless you for your faithfulness. I do know, and this is from experience, I can tell you that I've, I've been in situations where I've had... Our managers and bosses that um, are definitely not qualified for the job that they're doing but they use you it's like today it seems to be more like a um, modern-day slavery they'll use you they'll push you to get all the work done they know you're probably even more qualified than they are you know the work better than they do but the fact is they're the ones in charge they're the ones that are getting paid the, the, the big salary for the job. And I know sometimes, you know, you can feel a bit of resentment, can get resentful. And especially if they're picking on you and you know the reason why they're picking on you is probably because you're a Christian and they're not. Or there are times when you have other co-workers around you and they get away, you could basically say, well, they get away with murder. Simply because... They're not doing half as much as you are, but they're given perks. You know, they're allowed to go on extra breaks. They're allowed to just, just wander around. They're allowed to push their work off. And then the boss will come and say, well, I want you to do this extra stuff. Don't let this thing, it's easier said than done, but be mindful of who you are in Christ. You know, your work as unto God and like I said, be faithful in what you're doing. And if you're being faithful, God is going to promote you in due time. And sometimes it's not all about qualifications. It's about faithfulness. God rewards faithfulness more than he rewards qualification. You see, quickly, let me say something. I think in... Um, in the Bible, where he talks about Elijah and Elisha. I'm going to say to you that Elisha was not qualified. Elisha was faithful to Elijah for over 10 years. He followed him. Now, the, faith, the, the qualified would be the sons of the prophets. But God did not call them to the office that he was giving to Elisha. And so they never received it. Just about 10 years earlier when, when Elijah was going by and he saw Elisha and plowing with tw 12 yokes of oxen. That tells you this man was rich. 12 yoke of oxen. And he threw his mantle on him. Elisha knew what that meant. And so it took 10 years from the time that he was called. And 10 years later, he was separated unto his ministry at the Jordan when he saw the chariots of fire take away 
Elijah. That is when his ministry began. Faithfulness. I don't know how many of you would have stuck around for, for 10 years plus following someone when you know and understand that God had called you. You see, faithfulness got David to the throne. It wasn't qualifications. What, what, what qualified him, yes, was the fact that he was out there with, his, with the sheep. And it qualified him because God saw his faithfulness. Again, so faithfulness comes into play. So be faithful to what you, you find your hands to do. Be faithful to God and remember that you're serving Christ. Do, do what you do heartily without murmuring as unto God. And he will certainly bless you. Okay. Um, Galatians 6, 7, he says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. So faithfulness. And God will be faithful to you. And I pray that this word has been an encouragement to someone. Continue to work hard. Continue to put God first. And your faithfulness will be rewarded. Now, Numbers 6, 24 to 26 says this. And this is a prayer and a blessing that I, I give and I send out to you. And I pray you will receive it. By the grace of God, it says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his faces shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Shalom. Until next time.